Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's card is this really awesome explosion card, and this is a case from Pinterest. I'm not sure exactly where I got it along the way, but we did do this in my WOW class, and so I wanted to share this technique with you. So whoever posted it, thank you so much. Um, we're going to use the Bloom by Bloom stamp set and Happiness, um, Happiness Always, I think, is the designer series paper they are both in the occasions catalog which they are retiring at the end of the month so if you don't have these in your stash go ahead and grab them now because they are still available so um this would be a little tie right here to hold your hold your card shut but when you open it up it's got an explosion inside so all you need to do is pull and twist and there is your greeting inside there so let's go ahead and get started now i am going to share that this is a little bit of fake news going on here because I started this video and I was just rolling along and all of a sudden I realized it was not recording. So I don't have extra. So I'm gonna go back through what I've already done and you guys pretend like it's brand new. You've never, you have not seen this before and you don't see all the school score marks I already did. So I have a piece of eight by three and three quarter um, Knight of Navy, and I'm going to score at three and three quarters and four. And this is actually, I think this is wrong. Hold on, let me see here. Three and three quarters, yeah, three and three quarters and four and one eighth. Okay, so I'm going to just put those two score lines in there, and this is what makes the little jacket for my card. My next step is going to be a piece of seven by seven designer series paper, uh, sorry, seven by seven cardstock, and I'm going to score at one and three quarters on all four sides. So you're just going to score, turn, score, and turn till you have all four sides. Um, then what we're going to do is put a score in at three and a half, but only to that horizontal line you just created. So you're gonna do that again on all four sides, okay? At three and a half, just down to that horizontal line. The next thing we're gonna do, let me get rid of this, is we have to put in, I, you probably can see it because I've already done it. There's diagonal lines right here in the center of this card. We need to put those in and it's a little tricky to do with the score tool or the simply scored or your paper trimmer. So I just do it by hand. And basically what I do is take a squishy pad or a stamp and pierce mat and a ruler. So where these where these squares are right at that point, I'm going to lay my ruler across here and then I'm just going to take my stylus. So you could use a stylus. This is from the simply scored you could use your bone folder and on your take your pick tool, you have a stylus end as well. And you're just going to trace and make those corners meet, doing that on all four sides, okay? So now you get a diamond in the center. Now I'm gonna flip this over because I already started working like I said in my video, but make sure you do all these folds, okay? Use your bone folder nice and crisp, and then you're going to just start to start to pull up so that that diamond, that score line is depressed, okay? So it starts to kind of look like this. And I will tell you, this is a little bit tricky, but it works, so just keep working with it. I just got some scrap paper to start, and um, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to see on a video and do at home with this one because you're almost turning and twisting at the same time. So I'm gonna show you on my on my trial piece, but that is exactly what I would suggest for you to do. Instead of doing it on your cardstock, just get a piece of scrap cardstock and make one, and then you're able to have that to look at to work with. Now the one thing we also did while you guys weren't watching was I stamped this center. So that's a piece of Whisper White and it is going to be stamped on a diagonal. So when you stamp, have your points up instead of going like this, because when you open your card, this is actually flat, okay? So let me try and show you how we did this one. Um, the X's are just my, that's my visual for these panels here, okay? Because that's what shows, which it doesn't matter because what I did then was just put DSP panels 
the whole way around, just little squares, and you can choose whatever pattern you want. So now what you have to do is start to pull the X's, these corners together, and, and I'm gonna try to do it slowly because they all kind of have to go at the same time. So they start coming in. Okay, so you're kind of getting this way and pushing that in. And like I said, it doesn't go well the very first time. Once you have it together, go ahead and flatten it out and see you get a tri or that diamond on the back. Make sure you use your bone folder and get that nice and flat. Then every time you open it, it kind of starts to go back into that position anyway. So here's how you open. And I'm gonna close it again very, very slowly. Now, the one thing I will highly recommend to you is if you already have this piece in, when we put that into our card, we need to know that uh, because you want it to open the right way. So what I think is a little bit easier is actually leaving this piece out, getting your card put together, and then gluing it in once you're all done. Trust me on that because I had to rip mine apart three times. All right, so here we go again. We're just gonna start to pull these panels in. That little three and a half kind of starts to go towards the back. This one's kind, you kind of need both hands here. Okay, so you can kind of see how it's starting to go. Nice and slow there for you guys, okay? So I hope that helps. Like I said, just keep working with it. Get some scrap paper and do that first. Okay, so now we're going to, um, now I did not do this piece, so I'm not sure if I can get it to do it on camera or not. Like I said, it is takes a little bit of work and I'm bumping, bumping it. Ha ha, looky there guys. Woohoo! Ain't that something? Gods are smiling on me today. Thank you for letting that happen on camera while I'm shaking the crap out of you guys. Okay, so now I took tear and tape and I'm just using that on the back of that triangle. That's the only place you want that adhesive. And I, whoops. I do want tear and tape because I want it to stay in my card base and not pull off. Sometimes snail does that when you have a lot of tension on your card. I'm having a, I have my son's jacket on because I was outside, so it's a little long and I'm having a hard time seeing my own hands. So now I'm going to come back in <clears throat> with that piece I just made, uh, that little uh, jacket, if you will. And this is just going to be centered right inside. You don't need to go right up to the score line. Like I said, you're just gonna kinda center it in there. Okay, and now we always say a little prayer, and there we go. So now the easy part is just for me to glue that. Where'd my adhesive go? Oh, here it is. Just easily put that inside now because I don't have to worry about whether it's opening the right way or not. Okay, then what I did was um, I'm going to put a long strip of tear and tape across the whole back side. This is for our ribbon. And this just helps it stay down. Got to peel that off. And just kind of, I just made it about equal. I think. There we go. Okay. Then I took a piece of designer series paper that coordinated. I'm going to attach that to the front over top of my ribbon. And you guys will be seeing the dimensionals, or the dimension, the dimensions in the video as you're watching. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. This piece is going to get stamped, and I'm not going to show you guys that because this video went a little bit long. But you clearly can see how I stamped that. I did put the white on with dimensionals and then you're just going to tie 
that little knot there, a little bow there, and that's gonna hold it shut. And then when you open it, you've got your explosion. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment if you like this video. You can do YouTube, you can do Facebook, wherever you're seeing it, and I'll give I'll give this one away, okay? Um, I, hate, I hate making them and then you know, I don't always know what to do with them. So I'm going to give it away to you guys. So like I said, leave me a comment and next week I'll give it away. So have a wonderful week guys and happy movie Monday.